Hey everybody, welcome back to the Spring Loaded Football Podcast here on the Loaded Sports Network. Check out the hat. I am the Colonel. We're going to be talking a little USFL and XFL this week as we do every Friday. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. We have the division championship games. Have the Arlington Renegades uh, playing against the Houston Roughnecks. And in a surprising win, Arlington takes it 26-11. to uh, Perez with 289 passing, three touchdowns. I don't know what happened to this Houston team. Seems like later in the season they just sort of fell apart. And this is surprising. I mean, Arlington's record, I think it's five and five. So just surprising. I mean, it goes out to their team, man. They traded for Perez, and it seems like that's what they were missing. So good for Arlington. Next game, the North Division Championship. We have the Seattle Sea Dragons taking on the D.C. Defenders. Seattle 21, D.C. 37. I think that's what we all expected. D.C. winning. It's a little bit closer than what I thought it would be. Uh, Danucci for Seattle had 295 passing and three touchdowns. Can't beat that. That's not bad. And then on the other side with D.C., you had Tiamu with 258, two touchdowns and two picks. But D.C. pulls it off. The Beer Snake will be traveling to San Antonio where they'll meet the Arlington Renegades in the XFL Championship game in two weeks. So that's going to be pretty good. Um, The way Arlington's playing now, they might give D.C. a run for their money. I think a couple weeks ago they played in a close game. But, um, boy, I'm still going D.C. I I think they got it. We're going to go ahead now into the USFL, look at week three. And here's where the injuries caught up with Birmingham, I do believe. Uh, New Orleans Breakers, 45, Birmingham, 31. Uh, Bethel Thompson for New Orleans with 283, three touchdowns and one pick. And Magoo, 238, two touchdowns, one pick. Quarterback play was, you know, pretty even, except, you know, The rushing game is where um, New Orleans really showed out. 191 yards, 34 attempts, three touchdowns for Hills. And Marable, 24 yards on six attempts and one touchdown. So, I mean, mean, guys, look at New Orleans right now. I think they're the team that is the favorite to win the championship. I know this is only the first loss for Birmingham, but the way Bethel Thompson's playing, that running game – Guys, I think I think we might be looking at the championship team right here. Next up, we have the Memphis Showboats taking on the Houston Gamblers. Memphis 26, Houston 30. Uh, they had swapped quarterbacks in Memphis, so Kelly had 307, two touchdowns, one pick. Uh, Behar had 235, two touchdowns, one pick. And Houston pulls it out, man. Good for them. They needed to win. Uh, maybe Memphis needed it a little bit more considering I'll, I don't think they've had any, but, um, it's a good win by Houston. The first game on Sunday schedule was Pittsburgh Maulers taking on the Philadelphia stars. And this one surprised me. Pittsburgh 21, Philadelphia 13. I mean, Look at, I mean, you look at this Pittsburgh stat line and you would think they had lost Williams 96 yards passing one touchdown. You know, not much to speak of there. And you look at this Philadelphia side, Cook is 238, one touchdown, two picks. And that's where they got them. And them interceptions just really killed Philadelphia. But that's a good win for Pittsburgh after the tough season they had last year. You know, they're, they're trending in the right direction and that's good to see. And the final game for week three, we had the New Jersey Generals 28, the Michigan Panthers 13. Another surprising game for me. I uh, thought Michigan had this one, especially playing in Detroit. But on the general side, you had Johnson 180 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. And uh, the Michigan side, you had Love 101, no touchdowns, and one pick. So... I mean, that tells you a story right there. 
can't score touchdowns, you probably ain't going to win. So, good win for the Generals. Johnson's a pretty good quarterback. We saw him last year a little bit. Guys, I just want to take a short little break here to tell you that this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. You can visit betterhelp.com slash Lotus Sports Network. Click the link right there, and you can go and get 10% off your first month of online therapy. If you're watching the show, you can scan this QR code, and it'll take you right to it. Easy peasy. So, guys, if y'all are in need of some mental health help, check out betterhelp.com slash Lotus Sports Network, and they'll get you set up. Well, here we go, guys. We've got the championship game for the XFL. Now, this is going to be in two weeks. So we'll be going over this a little bit more next week. But we have the Arlington Renegades taking on the D.C. Defenders Saturday, May 13th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on ABC. So it's got prime time. Should be a lot of eyeballs on it. So, guys, I mean, this has got to be good. But um, we'll check back with it next week and see if we can get any more information on injuries or anything like that. And guys, here we are. We've got um, the week four preview for the USFL. First game on Saturday, uh, May the 6th at 12 p.m. Central Time on Fox. We've got the Houston Gamblers taking on the Philadelphia Stars. You know, Philly coming off of that loss. Uh, Houston coming off a win. Does Houston have momentum? Will Philly get back on uh, the right streak, you know? We'll find out. Should be a good game. The night game on Saturday at 6.30 Central on NBC. we got the Memphis Showboats and the Michigan Panthers. I think we've seen enough now of Memphis to know that it's going to be a tough season in Memphis. And um, even though Michigan lost this past week, I'm going to take uh, Michigan. First game on Sunday, May the 7th, 2 p.m. Central on NBC and Peacock. We've got the New Orleans Breakers taking on the New Jersey Generals. The way New Orleans is playing, I don't think anybody can touch them. I think New Orleans wins, and it might not be close. The last game of the USFL Week 4 schedule, we got the Birmingham Stallions taking on the Pittsburgh Maulers at 5.30 on FS1. Um, I had the wrong slide up, guys, so you have to excuse that. But um, Birmingham needs a win. Pittsburgh's coming off of one. It's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be played at uh, the stadium, the Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. So it's going to be interesting to see how Birmingham plays on the road. But guys, don't forget, check out our merchandise store. You can scan this QR code, take you right to the Loaded Sports Network merchandise store. We can pick you up a T-shirt. If you're a fan of Spring Loaded Football, Coach's Corner, guys, we got Loaded Sports Network branded merchandise. Check it all out. Uh, we'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, we're going to wrap the show up there. Hope everybody enjoyed it. You know, we work hard here at the Lotus Sports Network, and we really appreciate everybody that's listening and watching. But, guys, don't forget, um, you can find the podcast anywhere you listen to your favorite podcast. And, guys, we hope we're part of that group. Check us out on Spotify and YouTube for the video show. Click the link. Go to the merchandise store. Pick you up a T-shirt, guys. You'll look good in it, I promise. Don't forget, check out BetterHelp.com slash Lotus Sports Network for all your mental health needs. Guys, I'm the Colonel. We'll see you next time.